Hey everyone, welcome to Create with Sue. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be using the downloaded version of Canvas, but I'm also working with Maggie Rose Designs. And uh, we're going over there to grab a, a SVG file from Maggie. And she's got a few, so check the site around. Uh, just have a little bit of a lovely, lovely looking site. I'm going down to holidays and the Valentine Day one. So I found a little gnome that I quite like. And there he is in the middle. That's the one I'm going to choose. Some of the other designs that she has in the Valentine Day selection. So you select the, the file that you want. And then you hit the Select Options uh, button. And you can choose an option. You can choose whether to purchase. You can see that it's um, free or $3. So it's $3 for commercial use and free for personal. We're just going for personal for this and download now. I'll bring up a little pop-up just to give your name and your email address and say yes I want the design and it'll uh, be downloaded. So it will download to uh, usually your download folder. You can see on the left there it's a download folder um, and it's in a zipped format. So we're going to extract it. We'll go up to extract all up the top right there and it'll bring up a box and we'll choose where we want to put it. I'm going to put it in Maggie Rose Designs. You can see I've already created the folder there. Had a little play with her site already. And um, so I won't go through this whole scenario with you, but basically you select the folder and go select folder. And you can see Maggie Rose Designs there and extract. And then it will da it will uh, extract into that folder for you. Uh, you can see I've already extracted this once, so I'm just going to skip that. And there's your files. Uh, so this is uh, where you would go and choose which ones you were going to select. Um, and I'll just get out of that because. We will go into back into the downloaded version of Canvas. And this is how you bring it into Canvas Workspace. You just need to remember where you've placed the file. And then you go in and import from your computer. So you go back, it, it will go um, to your last place you went. So you have to go and hunt for your file. We you know we've put it into the Maggie Rose Designs folder. And there he is. Now that one on the left there that you can see the picture, that is only a picture. It will not cut like that without tracing. So what you want is this file here, which is an SVG. I've got mine linked to Inkscape. And so that's a little Inkscape icon. Um, you may have yours linked to something else. That's fine. So these files come in like this. And it's a bit, perhaps a little bit daunting if you haven't, um, you use very many SVGs before. I'm going to get rid of the select from the bottom and try and slide her up. I'm just going to get rid of the little girl gnome because I'm only going to do one gnome. And you'll see, I'll just highlight him. You can see he's in lots of pieces. Oops, just go back if you have a little accent like that. I'll just highlight him all. You can see he's in lots of little pieces and he's all in black. You can see over to the right. Um, the color fill is all black and I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you. So what we're going to do is just take the color away for a second. So go into the fill and up the top there on the left you can see the little checker plate. That means no color. And there he is, no color. You can see all the various little pieces in him. So he's very cute. <laughs> uh, if I was doing any editing I work more in this mode than um, having it color, but we'll color color him up for this exercise. So you go back and highlight the pieces you would like colored. I'm going to fill. I'm going to choose a red hat. And then a white beard and a red heart. I'm going to do this really quickly and do his hands in a beige color. So you can select multiple pieces, just hold the, um, the control key down and select multiple. And 
these little pants and sleeves in a blue perhaps and his shoes can be black here we go uh, and little hearts white hearts and he's looking pretty cute right. and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually go into the layers panel so uh, layers panel set so one then next underneath the edit panel and I'm going to group them you can see I've highlighted the red hat and the red heart. You can see that they're highlighted in blue on the right. And down the bottom I'm going to select group. And you can see that they've, they've uh, come into under one group. So if I click away and I'll, I'll now select all the blue, blue pieces by holding the shift key down. There's a couple of ways to do this. I'll show you this way first. And same thing that you can see them highlighted in blue on the right hand panel and we'll go group and they all sit underneath that same group now and they're grouped and we'll do the same for the black and group that and we'll scroll down so you can see that it's grouped there it is and the nose and the hands and a little piece of leg here they are, and we'll group them as well. Uh, a little bit of trouble catching that piece. I'll show you the other way to do it, perhaps. Uh, there's one little piece there that won't pick up. That's okay. Hold the same, same thing, hold the shift key down, and uh, the control key down, and select the individual pieces that you want grouped. On the right panel and you can see them coming active on the left hand mat you can see which ones I've selected on the right and there they all are in one group uh, what have I got left to do you can see those pieces are grouped if you move it use the back key so it goes back to exactly the same spot don't try and um, jiggle it back to the right spot just back out of what you've done. It's an undo and redo up there. Very friendly to use. Uh, oh, the two hearts still need grouping. There they are grouped. And that um, beard. You can see I've highlighted the beard and the hearts. And I'll put them, but they were already grouped. You can see up the top right they haven't actually grouped. They look like they're grouped. You can see that little um, beard juts out to the left, which it is in the group, but it's not grouped the same way the two hearts are. It's like a second layer of grouping. You can see that group is the two hearts. And also what's happened is the hands have gone underneath the heart in this instance. So I miss the little mouth. I'll just put him black. That's better so I can see him. There we go. He's better. Black. You don't have to colour them. I'm just doing this really as an exercise so you can see what I'm, makes it much easier for you to see what I'm doing as well as um, when you're sending it to the mat you can see what you're doing a bit better too. This little uh, icon on the right here is a little hide and unhide. You can see when I'm clicking it it's um, hiding pieces of the gnome on the mat. He's just lost all his body and now that group's gone. You can do it in groups uh, so you don't have to do each one individually so the whole group's gone. I'm going to send that piece to the mat, uh, sorry, to the scan and cut first. And so you don't choose export FCM, that will just save that file. You go to transfer. Uh, if you were putting it to a USB, then you would 
choose export FCM and you'll see there was a little message just popped up that said that some of the components are hidden and they won't go to the scan and cut which is exactly what we want but then you would go out and go over and cut that piece out and then you'll go in and select the next group that you want to send to the mat so I'm going to do white next I'll bring these so that we can see them onto the mat that's all my white pieces and do the same thing and transfer to your skin and cut so I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's like watching paint dry sometimes isn't it <laughs> I'll try and hurry it up as much as I can. We'll do the blue next. And you can see all the blue selected there. They're on the mat. Transfer them over and go over and cut them out. There's our warning message again to say that there's some hidden pieces. And that's a successful message. And what colours haven't we done? And it's the beige colour. We'll send that along. And go and cut that out. And the black. And we'll bring him back to the mat so we can see him. We'll bring all the groups back in so we can see him. So that's him back together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group him into one just for uh, later so I can move him around. Move him to the left because I'm going to put a little bit of writing there and I'll probably save him grouped as well just so that he stays in one piece. Uh, so I selected the text tool just then and I'm going to write I love names. You can see the selection comes up at the top when you click away. It's probably going a bit fast for you at the moment, that's okay. So I have got a tutorial that's just on um, using uh, words, making words. So we'll highlight a lot of the words, all the words, and make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to choose Comic Sans, because I just want it to be a little bit funky. And I've got lots of fonts in here, so it's always a challenge trying to choose a font. And there we go, Comic Sans. I like Comic Sans. Just got a bit of a quaint look about it. Adjust it to about the size that you want. Keep in mind, I'm going to put this on a t shirt, so I don't want it too big. And I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it in the native format for the downloaded version, which is the Canvas Workspace project file, CWPRJ. Remember that you can't put that file on a USB and upload it into your scan and cut, that it doesn't, uh, it's not recognized by your scan and cut machine. Your scan and cut will only recognize the SVG or FCM. But that's just really a file to keep um, so it's easier to edit if I want to edit it. And if you're putting it onto a USB, you would choose FCM, export as FCM and go OK. And then you can save it to wherever you want. Let's go over that. So I've made a video for you on how to put this little man together so head over and watch that next thanks for joining me see ya mm -hmm.